Don't look so awkward, dude. <laughs> I can't hold two things. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> Figure it out, Alice. Let's go. <laughs> Ready to fly. Yeah! Welcome to Mesa Arcee Foam Fires. It's me, Mr. Marshall, with Ashton. And we are about ready to go out to the backyard and fly these things. Um, but we're done. We just filmed doing our build video on them. Yep. And uh, what'd you think? I thought it went really well. It's super easy to build. So we built it in probably what, two periods? Uh, yeah, like two lunches. So in a, oh, yeah, two lunches. Two lunches. So like 15 each, like a half hour plus. 15, 45 minutes. So 45 minutes to an hour. We yeah. built this thing without painting. Today we painted. Mm -hmm. um, and you want to do the orange theme, and, and so you did yours kind of like a tiger stripe, which looks really, really cool. Um, but here you go. You can see the build's done. Um, and Ashton made, you know, when he designed this thing, we based it a lot off of the, you know, our previous design because it was really successful. Um, we really liked the shape of the airfoil. And so, um, the one thing that you did change was the the, the top wings, right, mm -hmm. to make it look like the 15. And then you did another thing on. So remember how we kind of combined ours. What'd you do on yours? So we got rid of the paper top that we have here in the struts, and instead we now just have this foam piece that comes on and off, right down the middle here. Yeah. So it makes it nice that you know if an ESC is messing up or if we need to change anything out, we now have access to it. Whereas before we it was pretty much you put it in there. You're done. Okay. Um, but the other cool thing that he did was he designed the bottom wing all one main wing. So see how this one it has just that little center console? He did the main wing and I really want to stress that because it made the build way so much faster, so much easier. Yeah, a so lot much. easier to build than to do it this way and actually have to try to balance and everything. So he did a really, really good job. Um, his specs that he's going to fly with is the 22-12-6. And then um, he's doing a 40 amp ESC. This is the one that um, Garrett gave him, so he's just using it. He probably can go down to 30 if he needed to, but it's nice to have that. Especially with this motor, it doesn't need too right, much. Right, and then he's using a 2200 um, milliamp 40C discharge uh, three cell lipo. And then we're just using that orange TX. Um, and then he, just, he did his a little bit different than mine. And I'm actually gonna talk about that. All right, so on Mr. Marshall's, we have the ailerons and the elevator here and the rudder. I think we talked about this on the build video too, if you watch that. Uh, we've got, on mine, I just did Elvons, so just these two control surfaces with two servos. Right, and so we're hoping that it won't roll yeah, it won't, as much. It won't, use, or it won't take up as much control. And, and so when he designed, yeah, and then when you designed this too, you should mention that you, he made the elevator big. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's all of this. Look at this guy. And he was even worried about it too when he, when he showed me the drawing, he's like, Marshall, the elevator ended up being really, really big. But um, it was great because now you were able to do this, this mm -hmm. setup, and it allows the other people, when they go to make this plane, if, they don't, if they're not comfortable with ailerons and rolling it, they can make something like this and give themselves a better chance of flying because there's no way we're going to fly this 18 if we had to cut this in half and using these little guys. I mean, you would really have to have the, your surfaces cranking in order to make that happen. So. Um, what we thought was going to be a design fall ended up being a blessing because now he could run it, you know, the same way, um, you know, on other, on other planes. So yep. he did a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, and these these planes are are getting close to being done. Um, I think we'll get the plans out to our early birds this week. Okay. And then um, here in a couple weeks we should have it out to to uh, out to hobbies and should be ready to rock and roll. All right. Are you ready to go fly this thing? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go fly. Throttle. Touch more 
the throttle? A lot less control than four. That's nice. Okay. Just stay there again. <laughs> I want to bring this thing back down again. I love the aileron, man. It gives me a little bit more. I'm Ooh. going low. I'm Ooh. going up. Oh, <laughs> hey! Oh, gosh. Cool. Yeah, straighten out. Can you take it? Feels like it's kind of you know, underpowered. Maybe because we took that motor out. Oh yeah, bring yeah, it around. Around. But when I was flying, it, it flew pretty good. Man, this thing is so smooth. Okay, it's yours now. Take. Hey. Oh, for a second there, I wasn't even watching my plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching yours. They look so realistic in the air. I mean, against the clouds and stuff. It looks. Yeah, it looks I cool. Mean, it's the cool part. God, this thing is awesome, actually. <laughs> it's amazing. This is so cool. Oh, so, I can fall. Is that way up? So, compared to the other planes you've flown, uh, Mr. T, what do you think? It's it is actually very smooth. Like like you said, compared to the wing, it's uh, it kind of just. It's almost like it's on rails. You just tell it where you want it to go, and it goes. Right. Okay, come back this way a little bit. Okay, see, I lost it. I'm going down. Are you going down, down? No. <laughs> I'm going down. <laughs> oh, whoops, other way. Okay. You got it? Yeah, bring it back here. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I think he's actually filming. And everyone else is crying. Oh, that was awesome. I was like watching your height. <laughs> Stay ahead. Let's find a fly information. I know, I was just gonna say I can't guys, do that. You no, know, you fly, yeah. I'll try to fly. Yeah, you just Here. just be smooth and even and he'll he'll yeah. tail you. So just kind of do a nice big blue, you know, circles or ovals or whatever. And then he'll try and get on your I don't know. <laughs> just kind of go and loop that hole. Okay, so he's he's heading left, coming back around. I'll go low. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, I know. I, yeah, and it did that earlier, so I have I have it now. I don't know if it's his controller. It might be his controller. Okay. So. I don't know. High rates on my ailerons, Tyler. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, I can't go that fast. That's too fast. I'm saying, I'm saying. Here you go, Tyler. I'm gonna come out in front of you and go aileron. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> I can't watch. Yeah, good. 
Did you get it? That was crazy. Nope. I got take it. Over. Yeah. Over. I got it. Wiggle your throttle stick up and down just a little bit, and then I'll do the same thing. I'll come in front, give it to you, and I'll front. There you go. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, it's yours. I actually like flying this way. You do? I think it's easier than my brain. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Oh, flying to the left? Yes. I, for whatever reason, I cannot fly to the right. I mean, I can, but I'm I like, can't fly to the left. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it a little throttle. I'm coming in. You got it. That's good. Thanks, Rachel. You want to come in a little bit? I'm coming in. You're gonna land or? Yeah, I'm gonna okay, land. So see it. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, I gotta take it. I gotta take it. <laughs> Get a flip. Yeah. And uh, of course, you can show me. You're the one who knows. Heads up. Woo! Uh, okay, so uh, I, I'm gonna give it back to you again when we come across. Okay, it's yours. Hey, we're gonna come that way. Heads up. Watch out, guys. We're gonna come that way. Hey, guys, heads up. Coming that way. Tyler, get this. Let's land it. Tyler. Heads up, guys. Oh, don't pull. Heads up. That's weird about the product. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's usually when I make tighter turns. It's so big. I think that's what it is. Do you guys typically land them? Or? I've never gone this far <laughs> flying. You've done really good. Pull back. I've never flown this long. Oh, really? Nope. Or at least on something I'm really able to. Lightning. <laughs> Great way to end an airplane. Yeah. Man, they're flying the body. Jake, slow. Oh, my motor's nice and cool. Nice. I just gotta glue on my, my uh, camping a little bit. More of a quick mix. Good job, Ashton. I know. He's making it look scale too. That's what I like. I just, I just love them. When they fly scale. Oh yeah, I need to fix it. How you doing, Jake? Jack? Yeah, we're doing good. Doing good? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Look, it just looks really. Oh, it looks smooth. so smooth. I'm cranking it like the end, like to the edge too. The sticks are to the edge. And you can't roll it? Nope, can't roll it. Cool. Or, or, oh, no, yeah. I haven't tried. The, I wonder what that is. I don't know what that is. It's probably, you, I think, think you think it could be the ESC? Uh, that's his brand new ESC. Oh, but, is it? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice turn. You can always reprogram it too. I lose it. Oh, man. <laughs> can't tell what's coming toward me. Here. What, you want to bring it in? Yep. Okay, bring it in. Let Mr. T bring it in. <laughs> Yours. So go around. Oh, okay. oh it's beautiful. Heads up, we're coming in. <laughs> Bring that quadcopter back. <laughs> Give <him a> shield. <laughs> Mr. T, you all right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what makes the most sense for landing. Dude, he is up there. Oh, I know. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like really high. I know. Heads up, guys. Heads up. Heads up. Well, the camera's facing oh, down too. That's all. Oh, that's nice. Got it. Yep. You filming? They're back in one piece. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Mr. T, for being the wingman for Ashton today. Um, so, what do you think? Uh, it's the. It's a. It's a really easy plane to fly. At least how I have it set up. I know how you have it set up is a lot more. Controlling, right? I and wanted the a, bigger motor too. Right, bigger. I got a super mega gel on mine, and you have just the regular standard uh, 2212 six motor that we always have for all of our motors. I did have to keep the throttle about three quarter, a little above, to keep it going, but um, it felt great. And it's on a 40C discharge battery. So it's on a 2200 three cell um, 40C, so it is putting out a little bit of uh, some juice there. And, but um, and Mr. T, what do you think? I thought it, like you said, like you said, it flies like it's on rails. It's really smooth. It's a, it's a blast to fly. I had a great time too. So yeah, thanks I, for letting me. I loved it. This is the first time I haven't crashed one of my own creations. So. <laughs> yeah, very good. <laughs> and I think, yeah, once we went to the this setup here, you were a lot more comfortable and it felt a lot better. Awesome. For me. 
Well, Ashton, dude, you did a good job, and this plan is definitely, um, you guys got to download this thing and, and, and build it. If not, go support the program and go to Altitude Hobbies and buy this thing. Um, is that what you want to do? You want to give this design to Altitude Hobbies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this design will go to Altitude Hobbies probably here in another two or three weeks as fast as Garrett can get this thing up on his website. Um, and he'll have kits available for him to uh, sell to you guys. But other than that, you know, the whole process of going through the design cycle and, and uh, you know, taking a plane that worked out really well and, and, and tweaking it and making it even better. Um, hands out to you, you did a really good job. Thanks. Very good job. Thanks for watching.